in this video we'll use ForalSim again and uh, export geometry data um, into Excel and try and plot a or do a drawing of the um, aerofoil section. So let's pretend we've designed the aerofoil, give it a bit of camber, change the angle, so that's what we've got. Um, we should be in metric units, okay, and uh, to output, to export geometry data, just click on geometry, a window appears here, and all the information is printed out into that, into a, a text block. You then highlight, use the mouse, press the left mouse button, highlight all of it, press the right mouse button and click left mouse on copy so you've copied it into the clipboard then open up Excel or whichever spreadsheet you're using I'm using um, OpenOffice here but uh, Excel is pretty much the same we then need to paste in the data we've just captured to the clipboard so click on edit paste now this is the tricky bit um, there's a preview here and you can see that these numbers will not come out in different cells so we need to tell it that the data is separated by hmm, maybe um, let's try spaces that still doesn't do it I think it's tab let's click on tab and that's done it nicely so the data is separated by tabs. Click OK. And it now appears in different columns. Um, we want to try and plot a graph now. Let's get rid of this line 31, which just says lower surface. So delete row. And then we're left with the upper surface here and the lower surface information is here. Let's delete the volume, we don't need that. Um, now we're just using the X and the Y. This is the X and the Y coordinates. P is pressure, that's the pressure around the aerofoil, and V is the velocity in um, meters per second at different points around the aerofoil. So we're going to take this information here and we're highlighting these two these two columns. And yet let's plot a graph. Insert Insert chart, and we want to have a scatter XY scatter graph, um, and we want points and lines, and then finish. Okay, now we can see the the first problem. The first problem is that. Um, the way this thing is being drawn the points are coming they start at the leading edge eat the, p the top surface is then drawn following the cursor it goes back to the trailing edge and then the bottom surface is drawn but in the meantime an, a line is drawn back to the beginning here and then the points come around here. So it does the top edge first, and then it comes back to the beginning, and then it does the bottom edge. But when it comes back to the beginning, it does this horizontal, this uh, line from the trailing edge to the leading edge. So we need to get rid of that line. Um, and the, the way to get rid of that is to see that the XY data, this is the upper surface, and then we come back down 
to the bottom surface here. So we need to invert this data here. Um, the easiest way to invert it is just to insert another column and just put some numbers in here. One, two, three. And let's copy that sequence down to there, 19. So we've got 19 points. Um, and yet start the sequence going again. 1, 2, back to 19. So we've got 19 points on top, 19 points on the bottom. But we need to we need to um, invert the bottom 19. So let's highlight the whole lot. Go to data sort, and we're going to sort by column A, and we want it descending, and then that'll turn it up, so upside down, and it's done it. And as you can see, the, the graph is now fixed here. The next problem, um, this aerofoil looks nothing like what we've actually got on foil sim. This is quite, um, um, you know, much more narrower uh, than it is than the cord, and yet. In foil sim, it's much more bulbous, and you can see that that's being caused by the scale being different. If you see where the cursor is here, that's the origin, and point two is that position here. Whereas if you go point two on the vertical scale, you have to go further to get to the point two. So it's not the scale is different. So you need to alter the scale. <coughs> um, so they're roughly the same dimension, so let's alter the vertical scale. I think you just click on the scale, right click, okay, I've got the y-axis, right click, format axis, scale, make it not or non-automatic, give it a minimum of minus 0.3, maximum of 0.3, OK, and then do the same with the horizontal scale, and so it looks, um, so the dimensions are the same, so you, you get the horizontal scale, the x-axis, right click, format axis, turn off automatic, and put in some numbers here, whatever it is that makes it um, uniform. And there we have the uh, a 2D drawing.